Another quick little tip, you want to go freelance, what do you need to do? Well, if you're going to go freelance, the best route, of course, is the web stack. That's why I teach that. So once you're comfortable building a responsive website, you understand SQL, you understand databases, you can do basic CRUD operations. If you don't know what that is, then you're not ready yet. Once you have that, then I say you put up a quick little website demonstrating your skill sets. And then what you do is you go online and you find some jobs to do. Now you do, may do one or two little freebie jobs just to start building your portfolio and practice so that you could practice working with clients or better yet, you find a local business, small business or a friend who wants to start a business and set up some basic websites. The key thing that you need to do when you want to start freelancing after you have your foundation skills is to get some projects done, some mini projects done. And the first one or two are going to be freebies. That's cool. That's normal. You just got to get your feet wet. You got to get some experience. And what you find is when you do a couple of freebie projects for some small business, local small business or whatnot, or online maybe in one of these online platforms, depending on where you live, one option may be better than the other. The key is you get some experience working with clients and you start getting some reputation. Um, all this, of course, has to be showcased on your own site. So you better have a decent looking site. If you're not a designer, you're more of a developer, backend coder type, then just use a template. There's no harm in using a template because if you're selling yourself as a coder, backend designer, process, somebody who delivers process, then it doesn't matter that you use a template. On the other hand, if you are doing front end development, then, well, if you're doing front end development, you don't need to know CRUD, although if you do some back end development, talking PHP or, or uh, JavaScript back end type of work with Node as an example, um, you're gonna have many more opportunities if you do full stack development, of course. You can specialize in one or the other, but for example, if you know a little bit of PHP, so you can, for example, maybe install WordPress for people, do WordPress installations, some theming for them, that's a great way. Again, one of the things you gotta learn and understand that when you are a freelancer, it's about being very flexible in terms of your skill set. You can't think of yourself as somebody who just does this. You have to think of yourself you got to think of yourself as a professional who can adapt and learn and utilize whatever technologies you need for a particular job. But what you're going to find typically as a freelancer, you're going to be doing a lot of web stack, you're going to be doing a lot of PHP work, and there's a lot of WordPress work as a freelancer. Now again, it depends where you are in the world, but for, ex for instance, people tell me time and time again, they may love Python, they may want to do Python web, Problem is, there's not too many Python web jobs up there. When you're doing Python work, that's typically AI and robotics, machine learning, that kind of stuff, data sciences. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how much freelance work there is in that. Although there might be, again, you gotta look at the local markets. Anyway, to summarize, you wanna become a freelancer. Once you have your foundation coding skills, no matter what type of work you want to do, you have to set up a site, it's your portfolio. You gotta make sure it looks good. Uh, and then you got to reach out and start doing one or two free jobs, stagers, if you will. That's normal. A lot of people think they got to go to a boot camp because they can get the stash work. Well, you don't need a boot camp. You don't need to spend five, 10, 20 grand to go to a boot camp so you can do stash work. Trust me. Once you have your basics down, you have that site up where you can do your basic stuff, then you can go reach out to different small businesses here and there. And there'll be plenty of opportunity for you in terms of finding work. You got to consider your first two or three gigs as uh, part of the training, free training, right? I hope that helps. Quick tip, of course, a lot more to getting up and running as a freelancer, but this is just a quick little tip.